Hello again, Mike Purser here, and today we want to have a quick look at, at one of the ways we evaluate your cruise rigging. This video will demonstrate how we measure the dimension of blade slip. Blade slip is a measurement of the distance that the tip of the blade moves in the water during the drive phase of the stroke, measured parallel to the boat. These graphics show the blade moves in the water from catch to finish. When the blade moves through the water, as on the left side of the screen, it is referred to as negative slip. On the right side, we see the blade has moved in the same direction as the boat, and this is referred to as positive slip. The first step in measuring blade slip is to video the crew. The camera or cell phone must be set stationary, aimed perpendicular to the path of the boat, and the crew should be rowing past at race rate and race intensity. This slide shows the setup of the camera and shell. The blade entry and exit from the water should be near the middle of the video frame to minimize the parallax error. Once the video has been captured, we can use video analysis software such as Kenobia, Huddle Technique, Coach's Eye, or any program that allows you to draw on the video to identify the entry and exit points of the blade. Huddle and Coach's Eye are apps that can be loaded on your smartphone or tablet, which allows this process to be quick and easy. We are looking at this video with the Dartfish video analysis software to demonstrate how to measure blade slip. Using Dartfish, we can set a reference dimension to the video as we know the width of the blade is 22 centimeters. The next step is to identify the point where the tip of the blade is fully buried in the water and draw a line on that point. We can move the video forwards and backwards to ensure we have the right location. Next, we identify the point where the tip of the blade is at the finish. Again, we draw a line on the tip of the blade. Finally, using Dartfish, we can measure the distance that the tip of the blade has moved in the water. Here we see the blade slip is 20 centimeters, 0 .20 meters, in the negative direction. If you are using software without a measuring tool, estimate the distance between the two lines by comparing it with the blade width. Next, we will have a look at positive blade slip. Again, we use the blade as a reference dimension, identify the point of entry, confirm the point, identify the point of exit, the tip of the blade at the exit, and measure the distance. Here we see the blade has moved 0.29 meters, 29 centimeters in the positive direction. Positive blade slip is typically only found in sculling and with proper rigging you should be able to have a minimum of 15 centimeters of positive blade slip. Sweep rowing almost always results in negative blade slip and anything better than negative 20 to negative 30 centimeters reflects good rigging. Remember, blade slip is only one factor of rigging analysis and must be used in conjunction with drive time analysis to fully evaluate the crew's rigging. If you thought this video was useful, please like it below and visit my Rowing Perseverance Facebook page for more coaching development tips.